What do you do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil and Mackenzie. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Only Fools and Horses Season 6, Episode 4. The unlucky winner is. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. Let's do it. La, 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 la. I love this one. Marble Arch at Dawn by Rodney Trotter, age 14 and a half. Aww. What's this bit? Did you paint something out? Yeah, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower behind Marble Arch? Is that meant to signify something? Yeah. It signifies that originally it was the Arc de Triomphe. But no one could spell the Arc de Triomphe, so I thought, oh no, I'll stick a double decker bus going past and say it's Marble Arch. <laughs> and it worked. In fact, my art teacher said in my school report he thought it was a masterpiece. So. Does it sound good on your end? Yeah. Okay. It kind of feels like it's a 20 years old. Yeah, same. How's it feel to be in the company of a genius? If I ever find out, I'll drop you a line. <laughs> Are you going to pull that or paint it? Rodney, I know I'm going to make myself look very stupid, but does this baked bean label mean anything? What? <laughs> yes, it does. It means dell has been putting all his competition stuff in my portfolio again. What competition? Oh, it's his latest line, isn't it? He's going in for any competition he can get his hands on. We've had spot the ball, spot the mistake, spot the dog, everything. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this lot. Spaghetti oof labels, crisp packets, Malteser wrappers. I didn't think Dale was the type to go in for competitions. Oh, yeah. At the moment, he's on the verge of winning a brand new full tiara, a free manicure for a year, and a night out with Maria Whittaker. <laughs> Where is ah, both he and Albert have got dates this evening. They'll see in some bird called Pachula. He chatted her up at a boot sale. Who's Albert going out with? Oh, some old dear called Elsie Partridge. He met her at Bingo. She's a widow, I think. She's got 11 children. 11 kids? Yeah. <laughs> Then her husband got fed up and died, so... <laughs> <laughs> you like smoked salmon? No. Good, because they're smoked salmon sandwiches. <laughs> Do you want vinegar? Did you put a plug on the microwave, Rodney? Do you want something then? <laughs> Is our microwave 650 watts or 550 watts? I thought you had a date with Elsie Partridge. Oh, yeah, but she'll be here in a minute. Hold on, I thought you was taking her out. And I thought you were taking a girl wash name out. How are you, love? All right? Yeah. Yes, my <laughs> Spoiling my evening for you, Rodney. It's all arranged. I've got a beef risotto for the microwave and a nice bottle of wine in the fridge. <laughs> Sorry about this. It's okay. It's the way it goes. Oi, I know. I could drop Albert a few quid. Then maybe after dinner he'll take Elsie Partridge down to bingo, eh? Then we could be alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at the state he's left this place in. Wait till I get my hands on that little plonker. You know, so you're sitting there waiting for your case to come up. We've been sitting here discussing art, that's all. Oh, isn't it funny that every time he discusses art with someone, their buttons come undone? <laughs> yeah. Right, Rodney. Here's the keys to the van. You can take Cassandra out now. We're not going out. We could go out for a while. No, that's all right, Cassandra. We're staying put. <clears throat> Rodney, can I have a board meeting? Look, Petulia is coming round. 
Well, Cassandra is already here. We're having a cultural evening. Yes, I know, but Petulia is bringing all her gear. <laughs> Derek, I don't care if she is bringing her gear. We are staying put. But look, I'm giving her a yuppie salad, don't I? I went out first thing this morning and I bought her smoked salmon and everything. I don't care what you bought. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> he said, all right, we're going out. <laughs> he done took Uncle Albert wine. He done took Dave smoked salmon. Makes sense. <laughs> Where's my bottle of wine? God, blimey, Captain Bird's eyes here, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be going out with the old woman who lived in the shoe. I am. She'll be at the dinner in a minute. Dinner? She's not coming round here to dinner, is she? Oh, well, that's handsome, that is, isn't it? We might as well stay here, Rodney. We'll have a party. True. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise. <laughs> right, he's showing you his etchings, has he? <laughs> yeah, I think he's good. Yeah, he's all right, but... So I like a bit more realism in my art. That's always let you down, Rodney, you see. What you talking about? That's realistic, isn't it? Yeah, and it's full. Look, I said I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, look at all the other stuff here. I mean, take a look at this one, for example. <laughs> Marble Arch at dawn. What a cock up that turned out to be. Oh, Rodney's art teacher liked it. He said he thought it was a masterpiece. No, he didn't. He said he thought it was a mantelpiece. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right for you to laugh. He nicked my bottle of wine. Oh, stop man about your bottle of wine, you old git. Anyway, I thought he didn't mean laughing shit. Look, he's in love. You know, we've got to learn... <clears throat> we've got to learn to be a bit more oh, understanding. Yeah. yeah, I suppose you're right. It was only a cheap bottle of wine anyway. Well, that's it, exactly, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it. Here, that dipstick's only had my smoked salmon away and all, isn't he? <laughs> Get my hands on it. Don't have a guy in front of Cassandra. You just embarrass a boy. Right. Perhaps you're right. I'll wait till she's gone. Then I'll kick him up the jack seat. <laughs> What's with me this morning? No, just a couple of bills. Nothing from them dopey competitions of yours. Mm, you won't call them dopey when I win, will you, eh? <laughs> How can you win? You don't post your entry to a couple of days before the closing date. No, because that ensures that my entry will get to the top of the pile. You know, you've got to think about these things, haven't you? <laughs> There's a competition on the back of them cornflakes. Oh, yeah. You can't win a raffle, you know, if you don't buy a ticket. Well, listen, I'm expecting Monkey Harris to come round in the morning. He's expecting a load of them Italian shirts from Malay at the end of next month. Tell him I'm not interested. But you are. I know that, but don't let him know that, otherwise he'd expect a fair price, wouldn't he, eh? <laughs> I'll get him. What's that? Another competition? Yeah, don't worry, I'll win this one. What have you got to do? I don't know yet. Oi. It's Albert's old bird. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, your date is here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Saucy git, that's peculiar. <laughs> that's tough, dog. Damn, that means she ain't the one, big dog. Nah. <laughs> you need to go find Raquel. <laughs> you stuck on Raquel, boy. I Sorry, Kess, I've lost my appetite a bit. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just sitting here thinking about us. And it's put you off your food. Thanks, Rodney. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Kess, we're pretty close, wouldn't you say? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I mean, you know, we get on really well. We have our moments. Yeah. We them moments, it's worrying me. See, I've, I've got a bit of a dilemma. I think maybe I ought to discuss it. Fire away. 
Well, look, we're both responsible, mature adults, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Forget it. This is how we be in serious conversations, dog. This <laughs> she be getting mad at me for never taking anything serious. Yes, I be like, I'm trying to be for real. For once, can you just be like an adult? <laughs> be serious. Yeah, I like to jump around and laugh about everything. I don't know what it is. It's not too much I take serious. I know. <laughs> Young fella like Rodney stops short to have dinner with a bird and leaves a carry to an old chap like me. They've got no respect these days. They've got no respect these days. <laughs> you fought in the war, didn't you? I fought in the war, didn't I? <laughs> so kids like Rodney could have freedom. And what they do with their freedom? Anything they bloody lie. Anything they bloody lie. <laughs> Oi, unpack that box and put some of them shirts in the suitcase, will you? Oi, is that for me? No, it's addressed to Rodney. Oh, well, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he's been getting through the post. Now then, dear Rodney Trotter, thank you for your contributions, blah, blah. We are pleased to tell you that you... Well, stone me. What's wrong? Wait, do you remember that competition I sent off for? You sent off hundreds of them. No, the Mega Cornflakes competition. Yeah, what about it? Well, what they want you to do, you have to draw or paint a world-famous landmark, right? Well world famous landmarks are not my speciality I'm more a portrait man myself so just for a laugh I sent off the old marble arch at dawn in Rodney's name and guess what he's only one not fully by leg no no look straight up have a butcher at that look they're giving away ten top prizes of a week's holiday in the Mediterranean and Rodney's got for one I always said that was a good painting didn't I I mean it's the realism it's always been Rodney's strength there <laughs> Have you ever tried to do like competitions on the back of the cereal box? Or... No. Me neither. I've done like the crosswords and stuff that be on the back sometimes. No. But never applied for any of the competitions. Well, peace for the boy. He never won anything in his life. No, only a couple of them ugly bird contests when he was younger. But that, that... <laughs> well, they're sending him there. Look, that's it, Mallorca. A luxury suite in a five star hotel. A la carte menu and a week spending money for the winners and their guests. Their guests? Their guests, of course. It's always a holiday for two, isn't it, eh? Yes, I could do with a break. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sunshine set me up a treat. <laughs> That's strange. Huh? What is? Have you read page two? Well, no, not yet. Well, I think you better. Oh, no. I don't believe these wallies. You know me, son. I never interfere. But I think it's only right to tell the boy. Yes, what we have here, uncle, is a case of a je ne sais quoi, au quoi. <laughs> What's that mean? Well, roughly translated, it means he who sticks his nose into a beehive will get more than a nostril full of honey. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? I'm saying nothing, son. Cushed it. Well... I suppose I better be getting off. What are you and Dell up to today then? Yeah. He's picking up a gross of Italian shirts with Monkey Harris, and I'm down the market selling kiddies' dolls. I won't always be doing this. Doing what? Well, selling crap down markets. <laughs> I'll get my diploma in computer science so then things will change. You don't have to prove anything to me, you know, Rodney. Well, you got a good job in a bank, ain't you? And your dad's a successful businessman, and me, well, I'm an apprentice fly pitcher. I mean, let's be fair, Cass. A girl like you, she could marry some really rich, good-looking bloke. If I was to meet a handsome, wealthy young man and he asked me to marry him, do you know what I'd say? What? I'd say, ciao, Rodney, and you wouldn't see me for the tinted windows on his Porsche. <laughs> but until that time, I'm happy to drag along with you. <laughs> So you're not just saying that? No, honestly. Oh, and there's me fretting, eh? <laughs> I love the banter. I love that she can give it back, you know what I'm saying? It's always fun. I've been going out with you longer than I went out with any of my other boyfriends. And do you know why? So I'll packed you in? Right. <laughs> and because I love you. <gasps> 
I love you too, Cash. What a load of old cobblers. <laughs> Makes you want to throw up. <laughs> Why do you always come to this pub? The atmosphere, I suppose. Brothers! Yeah, I'm on my way now, Dale. Michael, a bottle of your best champagne, please? <laughs> Rodney. Rodney, have I got news for you, Brad? <laughs> you, Rodney Trotter, have only won a competition. <laughs> All right, what is it, a wind-up? No, no, this is God's honest. Well, there it is in black and white. What can't speak can't lie. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I don't believe this is happening to me. Bloody hell! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, where's the other page? Huh? Well, it says, please turn to page two. Oh, yes, that's right. No, I left that in a flat. <laughs> it's not a mistake. No, no, it's all pucker and a bad board. I just phoned them up. They're expecting to see you in Mallorca. They want to take publicity photographs and everything. You're going to be on the back of millions of cornflake packets. Am I? <laughs> yeah, you and the nine other winners, yeah. yeah. On Mediterranean holiday, eh? <laughs> I've never won anything before in my life, have I? No, apart from them ugly bird cop, but no, he's never won anything. <laughs> <laughs> you clever old thing. I didn't even know you'd been in for a competition. Well, no, it was... <laughs> Dale, I never went in for this competition. No, no, I did it for you. That was a painting competition, you see, so I sent off the old marble large at dawn, and it's come up trumps, look at it. <laughs> and what did the other page say? Uh, oh, it's nothing, it's all about sightseeing and excursions and all that sort of thing. Here, listen, I'll get the champers, all right? Yeah. Hey, come on, Michael, where is he? Come on. Holiday in Mallorca, right? Mm. Well, you miss me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> hey, Dad, will you miss me? <laughs> He's not taking her, babe. That's dirty. Well, I expect I'll find something to replace the excitement of your presence. You know, knitting, something like that. <laughs> Now listen, can you get a week off work? Yeah, I'm owed some holidays. Right, what about your parents? I thought it was only a holiday for two. Do you know what I mean? How are they going to feel about you coming on holiday with me? Rodney, my parents like you. They trust you. Do they? <laughs> I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'll tell you what, Rodney, we'll be having champagne for breakfast every morning when we get to Mallorca. <laughs> we'll all be for larking. There you go, darling. I'll tell you what, I just can't wait to get there. <laughs> um, well, thing is... Yeah, come on, drink up, drink up. Here, come on, cheers, celebrate. Cheers. <laughs> it's just a, you know, this holiday is for two, and I, I was thinking... No, no, no. It's not for two, brother, it's for free. <laughs> for nothing, no. <laughs> no, for free. For free? Right. Yeah. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I read it. It was in that second page that I threw, a, 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 I left in the flat. <laughs> Three's a funny number, isn't it? Oh, yeah, three's very funny. Always has been stitches, it's free, free. <laughs> what I mean is, these things are usually done in two, isn't it? I mean, you see it on the telly, don't you? You know, full house and price is right and all that game. A holiday for two. So why's this one for free? Well, I don't know. You get on a blower to the cornflakes people and ask them. Maybe it's because it's mega flakes. You know, they do everything bigger. There you are, see? She's cracked it. <laughs> I'll tell you what this means, Rodney. It means that Cassandra can come with us, eh? Yeah, I thought of that. Thank you, love to. Yeah, well, <laughs> say, just what, three weeks to the off? Just enough time for us to get some new clothes? <laughs> you get your bikini line sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're off, eh? Lovely jubbly. Yeah, right. <laughs> three people? Yeah. <laughs> it's three, Ronnie, just three, three. Just don't keep going on about it, all right? Excuse me. Oh, right, look, um, see you later, okay? Take care. I'm just going to the ladies. <laughs> That's embarrassing, big dog. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought you was going. <laughs> You Wally. <laughs> Look, I'm glad she's gone. I, I wanted to have a little chat with you. You know, I've, I've got a bit of a problem. Worse, it's more of a worry. What's it about the holiday? Well, yeah, sort of. The uh, holidays heightened my concern. You know, made the problem a little more urgent, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. 
What is it then, Rudders? What is it? What, Ford Escorts? See, brav. Mm. You don't have to worry, they're not really that size in real life. Oh, no. <laughs> I know that. God, but I know they're not that. Not <laughs> what I mean is, me and Cassie are getting closer all the time, you know. I'm, well, I mean, we haven't done nothing yet. Huh? I thought you was on the phone with it. No, 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 it's nothing like that. But, yeah, well, you know, let's face it, with the best of intentions, these things can get beyond our control. Yeah. It's way beyond mine, bruv. <laughs> so I feel that in this day and age, um, what with what's happening in the world, it is every responsible adult's duty to, well... Go equipped. Yeah, yeah, if you like. Yeah, well, no, that's very wise and mature of you, Rodders. Uh, it's, no, it really is. So what's the problem? Well... I keep going to buy them. Yeah, yeah. There's a sort of stigma attached to them. No, that's just a piece of silver foil you chuck out the way. <laughs> I guess times was different in this day and age. Because nowadays, especially at Rodney's age, like, most guys don't mind you going into the store about the time. Has he done it before? I don't know. I guess not because he seems so shy and awkward about it. Oh, like had sex before? I assume. I, I mean, I thought so this entire time, but now yeah. I'm looking questioning. I think so. I'm pretty sure. He in like his mid 20s, I think. Mid to late. Okay, but I've, I haven't seen Rodney get past the kids. I'm pretty sure Rodney died. They, they just ain't showing me. But I'm assuming. I'm not pretty sure I'm assuming that he dies. I don't understand. Why he can't buy the condoms? Yeah. I don't know either, big dog. I don't know why I ever involved you in this. <laughs> I mean, well, in this day of AIDS and all the warnings in the telly and in the press and all that, people are still embarrassed to go and buy them. And I mean, me, I seem to think that it's only seedy little blokes do it. Yeah. Will you get them for me? <laughs> get on your bike, you get them yourself. Well, I'm like, come on. Because I keep going to get them, right? And every time I go into the shop, it's either a lady serving me or my bottle goes. I mean, look at this. This morning, I bought four combs, a tub of it, and a film for a Kodak Instamati. Yeah, but they sell them everywhere these days, don't you? You can get them in the, in the butchers, a bike shop. In Patel's Multimart, they got them by the phone card counter. <laughs> yeah, they even man had a machine in here that you could get them in once. You know, except they got jammed with a drag mark. <laughs> Does uh, Cassandra know about this? Have you discussed it with her? Well, of course I have. Um, do you think I... God, she's coming. <laughs> All right. Want some more champagne? No, I've got to get back to work in a minute. I'll stick with the fruit juice. Oh, all right. All right. I'll get you some. I'll get you one. <laughs> Cass, what I was saying earlier about our blossoming relationship... What about it? Well... When one is in a situation like ours, one... Or in our case, two. Or in our case, two, should be careful. Careful of what? That we don't become free. <laughs> uh, I see what you mean. You know, I, I do hope you don't think I'm being presuming or anything. I, I just thought, well, we are going on holiday together and... You know, in that atmosphere of sunshine and freedom and, well, sharing the same hotel suite, our relationship could, well, who knows, ascend to a more physical plane. Yes, I suppose so. Yeah? <laughs> well, 
I don't think I'd have ever just like discussed it like that before it happened. No, I feel like that shouldn't have been a conversation. <laughs> Honestly, like, okay, you don't want us to become three. You go get the condoms and yeah. maybe you get lucky. <laughs> I swear, dog. I maybe swear. you get it. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was interesting, uh, the whole conversation. That's different than what I'm used to. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. I mean, I think me and you discussed that. Yeah. But it wasn't that kind of conversation. Nah, nah, <laughs> like, that's nah. awkward. It is, yeah. That's weird. Because <laughs> you beat around the bush a little bit, hinting at it. You know? Yes. Just say it. Better safe to the side. Yes. <laughs> I can feel that. I'd I be mean, like, no. Yeah, I would have never had the conversation like this. Like uh, Who knows what might happen? You haven't been discussing this with Dell, have you? No. Of course I haven't. No. What do you think I am? We are always discussing with our brothers. <laughs> Good. Wait, brothers, <laughs> you're in luck. Mike's had a new machine fitted in the gym. <laughs> I'll get you some change, Rodney. <laughs> what? Well, we're all eating. What the courier said. Dale's, right yeah, Dale's, oh, how big it is? Yes, it's all the way from Cassandra all the way to the other end of it. That's joke. Oh, there it is. Didn't say nothing about Dale's liver print, though. Oh. oh, no, I saw that, but oh. I saw how big Rodney's was. I feel that. Ah. Right? Pour a sangria hose, eh? Mm-hmm. We have yeah. a ride. Just a bit, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so just, just before you go and check in, um, this prize ain't quite as straightforward as it seems. Well, he did win, didn't he? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all puckering above board and all that. I mean, we're, um, we, you know, we got all the tickets and everything, yeah. <laughs> so what's the problem? That's strange, you know. Mm-hmm. What? Well, I noticed it on the plane, but it didn't sort of register. They're all mums and dads. They've all brought their kids with them. What's strange about that? <laughs> well, except for me, right? All the winners are parents. No, it's not the parents that are the winners, Rodney. It's the kids. <laughs> well, Rodney's painting won first prize in an under 15 year old. Say again. <laughs> so they think Rodney's 15? Is that right? No. They think you're 14. 14? <laughs> I think I'm 14. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this back in England? Well, I thought it might cast a little cloud over the whole <laughs> Look, Rodney, I sent your painting off in good faith. I mean, I didn't know there were lots of categories, but it was you, not me. You were the one that wrote on it, Rodney Trotter, age 14 and a half. So the organisers must have put you in the kids' category. So it's your fault that you wrote on it. Uh, How was I to know that in 12 years' time you were going to enter it for a cornflakes competition? Well, how was I supposed to know that you'd win? Eh? Hey? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now, come on, come on. You're going to waltz through it. Waltz through? How the hell am I going to pass for cornflakes? Can you stop doing that, Cassandra? That's your age. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be dying too, dog. I would do. I would be if it was me in the situation. If I was in Rodney's situation, I'd be upset. Yeah. But yeah, if I was in Cassandra's position, I'd be laughing too, dog. <laughs> this is your fault. I'm gonna break your bloody neck. <laughs> just look. Just look over there. Look. Look. Some of those lads. Look, they're over six foot tall. 15 and 16 year olds, they look much older these days than they used to, and you've got the added advantage of your boys' good looks. That's why there was three tickets, isn't it? One each for mummy and daddy, and one for the school. <laughs> <laughs> 13 and 14 year olds to go abroad yeah. on their own, can you? Eh? <laughs> and what exactly is your role in all this? Well, um, when the cornflakes people phoned up, 
they said that you had to be accompanied by your parents. So I said, and I, I don't know why I did it. I think it was a bit flustered at the time. I said that I was your dad. My dad? Did you hear that, Cassandra? Yeah. <laughs> and who the hell am I supposed to be? It's <laughs> my It might have clicked in her head. She fits in pretty well. That was you. Please tell me this is a bird to me. You don't pretend, Cassandra. You're only pretending, aren't you? I mean, you haven't got to check behind his ears or pick him up from school or nothing like that, have you? I think we should go and tell them the truth. Just a minute, Dopey. Just a minute. We're here now, aren't we? If we all keep still, we can have a lovely free holiday. But if they find out we're lying, they'll chuck us out of the hotel. And if they find out we're telling the truth, they'll chuck us out of the hotel. Now, return flight's not for another week, so what are we going to do? They'll probably stick in one of those Spanish halfway homes. Well, at some point, they are going to realise I'm not 14. <laughs> but we'll be back in the hotel by then, won't they? There'd be nobody there to ask questions. Come on, we're on holiday, eh? Well, whatever else it turns out to be, it's an experience. Oh, good, good girl. That's right. You know it makes sense, don't you? <laughs> That's it. Now, come, on. come on, then. Come on. Let's get over there and check in. Come on. Yeah, don't forget you. You act a bit mumsy, all right? <laughs> what do you mean, mumsy? Well, I don't know. You know, just a bit mumsy. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes, okay? It's only a half hour journey to the hotel, so we should be there in plenty of time for lunch, all right? Uh, so the Trotter family? Well, Mr. Trotter, good. We're just oh, waiting for hello you. Hello there. Um, Alan Perkins, hello. pleased to meet you both. Um, right, here are your rosettes. Oh, what about Mrs. Trotter? Uh, Mr. Trotter. Thank you. Okay. And uh, this one's for young Rod. He's <laughs> <laughs> a big lad, isn't he? Yes, his late mother was a very tall woman. Free. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Extraordinary. Oh, well, uh, here's your badge, Rodney. <laughs> you are now a life member of the Groovy Gang. <laughs> <laughs> the Groovy Gang. It's just an idea we came up with to help the kids feel really part of it. Every time one of the organisers says, Are you having fun? Or you kids shout, Groovy! <laughs> Well, don't worry, don't worry. You'll soon get the hang of it. <laughs> yes, fine. Uh, well, well, we'll, um, we'll be off in a moment. Yeah, that's Thank you. I don't believe this is happening to me. It's all right, Woody. It's all right. We'll be on the coach in a minute. We'll be at the hotel in half an hour. And then you're free to do what you want. Nice and easy, bro. Nice and easy, eh? OK. All the members of the Groovy Gang over here. <laughs> all going to the hotel on the fun bus, not with all the old fogies. <laughs> oh, fogies, that's so exciting. <laughs> You're enjoying this, <laughs> isn't you? I'm just playing along with this. Uh, uh, mums and dads, uh, if you'd like to follow me, the coach is just outside. Uh, we've laid on a little welcoming reception back at the hotel. I'm sure that none of you would object to a glass or three of sangria. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, Alan. <laughs> Oh, oh, on, you go. <laughs> there you go, you're going with the groovy gang. Yeah, groovy gang. Come on, Ronnie, don't let us down now. Come on. They're looking over here. Yeah. I'm still waiting for a Rodney Trotter. It's over here, sweetheart. Oh, oh, don't God. be. Hurry up, Rodney. I'm not going. Uh, is he not a good mixer? Well, good mixer, him. He's like a Cambridge chef when he gets going. <laughs> Come on, Rodney, don't be shy. You'll soon make friends. We're all going for a jumbo hamburger and double French fries. Oh, dude, that's his favourite. <laughs> don't get any ketchup down your shirt. She charges down. She charges but I would have been low key lit about the Bro, jumbo burger. Bro, you really is acting like a kid right now, though. <laughs> so it really thinks like he's one of them shy ones. You don't want to leave the parents. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna be stuck with a bus full of kids, dog. <laughs> oh my Bro, god. <laughs> they said, don't get no ketchup down your shirt. <laughs> I would have jumped at it, dog. I would have jumped. I'd be like, make sure you stay with the group. <laughs> don't get lost. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, let's see you back at the hotel then, Rogers, all right? Right, now, come on then. Come on, darling. 
Don't push your luck, Derek. <laughs> No. All together. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, go. Let's go. Here we 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 go. Even if Rodney was 15, bro, don't know 15 year olds do all this. I was just 15 year olds do all this. I don't know what 15 year olds yeah. act like that. This so one, that's like, more like 10 and under. That's what I was going to say. This is 10, you dog. No 15 year old about to shout, Ruby. Yeah, that's 10 and under. And nobody's going to say anything like uh, that either. Duh. Here duh. we go. Here. No, ain't nobody saying anything. <laughs> we too old for that at that point. That's dog. embarrassing that ain't. I swear. 10 and under. Yeah, 15, I'm a sophomore in high school, I think. Yes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that I had to, dog. <laughs> I'd be just like Rodney right there. He's 14 <laughs> and a half. <laughs> ah, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah? I've just been down to reception. I bought some Spanish state lottery tickets. I filled them in I filled them in for you and everything. I bought some for you, look, there's some for Rodney there, look, and there's some for me. Alright, I'll put yours down here. There you go. You never know. Never know our luck, because we're on a winning roll, aren't we? <laughs> Tell that to poor Rodney. Oh look, don't keep going on about it. You're gonna spoil the holiday, you are. Huh? Listen, have you a look around, what's here? Ah, oh, yeah, that's very nice. That must be Rodney's room. He's got a picture of Prince on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> if that's Rodney's room, where am I supposed to sleep? Well, oh, I thought that uh, you and Rodney... <coughs> no, maybe not, eh? No. <laughs> I'll sleep in there. You and Rodney can have the honeymoon bed. All right, all right. Anything you say, sweetheart, anything you say. I just thought it might be a bit strange when the old maid come in, you know, see me and old Rodney tucked up on a king size. <laughs> it would look even stranger if she found Rodney sleeping with his stepmother. <laughs> I never thought of that. I'd better go and cancel breakfast in bed. Listen, do you want me to take that picture of Prince down off the wall there? Just leave it, Derek. You've done enough for Rodney and I as it is. Oh, York, I thought the cornflakes people would leave us alone to enjoy our holiday. I didn't know they were going to conscript Rodney into the groovy gang. I mean, why do they want to do that? Mr Perkins explained it to us. It's so the youngsters won't get bored and the parents can have a rest. I won't see him all week, will I? Yes, of course you will. <laughs> He's bound to get a spot to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there he is. There they all go now. Hey, Rodney, don't go mad. <laughs> <laughs> they just went down over that hill there. That was quick, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, they were on skateboards. <laughs> Rodney was the leader, he was right out in front. Woohoo! Leader of the pack. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello? May I come in? Yes, come in. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Trotte. Sure, sure. Oh, um, <laughs> good afternoon, Carmen. Is Sir uh, Rodney here? No, he's not here at the moment. Oh, he's still out enjoying himself. <laughs> yes. Well, it's just to let him know about the junior disco on Wednesday night. But I'll come back later and see him then. Bye for now. That's it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, it's all right. Rodney well, likes a little dance. <laughs> it's a junior disco. Well, all right. We'll say he's ill. Oh, what more lies? No, that'll be the truth. <laughs> when we tell him, he's bound to be a top and dick. <laughs> I'm sure, bro. Rodney said he probably going to draw a glad that day to the kids, dog. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have a wash. Let me go downstairs see if we can get something to eat. All right. What about Rodney? Oh, that's all right. We'll pick him up down there somewhere. Yeah, just look for the nearest sand pit. <laughs> Very funny, yeah. <laughs> Skateboarding. <laughs> oh, I see. Where's Del? He's having a wash. Derek. Hey, brothers. 
Yes, I'm back. <laughs> could you come out, please? I'd like a word with you. <laughs> no, could you come out now? Oh, I've got my pants off, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's quite urgent, Dale. Yeah, right. Give us five minutes, I'll be with you. Sorry about the bad language, Cassandra. What bad language? Get it in there, you dipstick! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> oi, 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 What's up with you? I'll oh, tell you what's up with me. Thanks to you, I am now a 26-year-old man who just comes second in a skateboard derby. <laughs> Tim, you were in the lead when I saw you. <laughs> I fell off. <laughs> I told you not to go mad. <laughs> I also have a 13-year-old Bros fan called Trudy who's got the hots for me. <laughs> tomorrow I start the first of three cycling proficiency lessons and I'm gonna kill you! Oh, there, Rodney, you mate. You're not a big kid. Get! I'm not coming out until you simmer down a bit, I'll tell you that. Well, I'll wait. I don't care if it takes all bloody week. I'm gonna get you, Derek Trotter. I'm gonna get you! seen the view? <laughs> no. Would you like a drink? Strychnine, please. Ice and lemon. That's where I'll come off. Toxy lizard. Shall I clean it up for you? No. Well, it could turn septic. Good. <laughs> Is that Trudy waving at you? Yeah. Dog. Yeah, I had to do it, Rodney. <laughs> you calm down, yeah? Get! <laughs> Finite, right? Finite. <laughs> no, Rodney. Look, do you think if I knew this was going to happen that I'd allow us to come over here? Well, of course you would. Because you don't give a toss about anybody else as long as you're having a good time. Oh, that hurts, Rodney. <laughs> oh, that hurts. It's like a... It's like a knife going right through my heart, that. I may be many things, but I'm not selfish. Cheers, darling. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, they probably fixed up all the entertainments today, like, to make you feel at home. You know, most probably rest of the week is your own. Oh, no. I was given the full itinerary. Tomorrow, after my cycling lesson, we're all off to the splash and slide. <laughs> then Wednesday, in the morning, we're going go-karting. <laughs> and in the afternoon, we have a ping-pong championship. <laughs> then on Thursday, me and the rest of the groovy gang are out all day painting Parma Cathedral. <laughs> what in, Matt or vinyl? <laughs> You're enjoying every bloody minute of this and No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just trying to lighten the atmosphere. Honestly, if you keep up this mood, you're going to ruin this holiday for us. Listen to me. The no, is not going to Thanks. help. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's you, innit? I bet you told him about the junior disco, didn't you? Junior disco? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't say a word. I ain't going to a junior disco. It's all right, Roddy. It's all right. You don't have to. Me and your stepmum have sorted it all out. <laughs> We're going to say you're not the gut sake. Oh, no, that's how I'm ill. Why not? I've got a great fat nurse to look after us. <laughs> cool. You like a bit of uniform, though, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but you want to see her. She'd have to go on a diet to get into the roly polies. <laughs> God, what a choice, eh? Can either have all day with Trudy in the ear, I'll going on about Matt and Luke, or I have to have my belly rubbed by Sister George. <laughs> Tricky one, bruv. <laughs> you are enjoying this, aren't you? No, I am not. You're deliberately saying things to annoy Rodney, aren't you? All right. I feel like they could easily just be like, hey, we want to spend some time with our kid. Like, and it would not be nothing that people could do about that. Oh, no. 
Cause I want to enjoy the vacation, but I mean also like I'm gonna spend time with my child too, have a good time. Right. I won't say another word. Right, that's it. We're just gonna go out and have a walk around the town, all right? I didn't know you liked uniforms. <laughs> it's fine, nice. It's just in mucking about. Okay, no you got a cigarette, and they're going to be macking. Yeah. Oh, yes? Is uh, Rodney back yet? Oh, yeah, come in, come in, just a minute. I'll, I'll give him a shout. Rodney, Rodney, the RK lorry's is here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we, we just thought we'd uh, take the opportunity to uh, check your passports. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you want to check our passports for? It's simply Spanish regulations. Oh. Immigration laws, I'm right. sure you understand. Yes, of course. Do you know where our passports are, dear? Oh, yes. I'll just get them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take a birth on my passport. Right, don't worry, I've doctored it. Oh, thank you. You've done what? <laughs> <laughs> It's only written in Biro, so I altered the last two numbers to make it look as though you were born in 1974, right? Don't believe me. Here they are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, everything seems to be in order. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh, Rodney, don't forget about the Junior Disco on Wednesday night. We start at 7.30. It's great fun. We have break dancing and we have spot prizes. Smash him. <laughs> Cheerio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you now. Bye-bye. <laughs> God, stone me. Listen, I reckon we ought to keep our heads down for a while, all right? I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll order some room service for us, okay? What? No, no, no. no. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, man, we're all right now, aren't we? Eh? Why don't you, you know, go out for a little while? Hmm? Well, you know, you look like you could do with a bit of fresh air. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're right. No, actually, I do feel, you know, a bit claustrophobic. Yeah. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you two alone then, shall I? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rodney? Yeah? They're in my flight bag. <laughs> Bro, you so dirty. He always got to ruin some God dang. I don't understand what the problem is. Like, why does he always have to do that? But that wouldn't stop me, big dog. No. I mean, I know siblings, like, do stuff like this yeah. to each other, like, aggravate each other. Yeah. But I wouldn't want my sibling to do that. Well, I've been like, appreciate it. I'll catch you later. <laughs> and I looked at you like, what are you talking about? Because <laughs> <dirty. laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> you really thought. Like, good time. <laughs> Listen, go. Listen, you two better go to your laptop. All right. All right. No. I thought Rodney and I would be spending a romantic week together. Lose brownie points for that one. <laughs> Still, he's been enjoying himself, didn't he? Rodney's not enjoying himself. Last night he cried. Why do you think he's carrying on with this pretense? He certainly ain't doing it for me. Because if me and Rodders had been here on our own, we'd have been out in that street ten minutes after landing. Yeah. He's only doing this for you, sweetheart. Really? Would I lie to you? He only wants to see you having a good time. He wants to see you enjoying the sunshine. He's only trying to make you happy. 
So the least you can do is to put on a smile and show that your sacrifices have not been in vain. I didn't realise. No. Well, there you are. I didn't want to tell you, but you know, you forced me out. Oh, here he is. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Having fun? Groovy. Mm. Oh, you didn't get me a drink then? Right. Well, not to worry, I'll get mine on. But, oi, don't get stroppy about it. Don't get stroppy. Don't get stroppy. a large Bacardi and Coke. Please. And an orange cordial with ice and stroppy. Okay, I'm going to tell my truth. Mm. I don't care if I do chuck us out on the street, mate. I just don't care. That's all right. Go on, go on. You just think of number one, eh? What about that poor mare? She's having the time of her life on this holiday. You <laughs> like talking about Cassandra. Yes, we are. She just told me. But last night she told me she hated it. Said she'd rather be self-catering in Beirut. <laughs> she's only doing that for you. Because she thinks you've got the ump because you've had to go in for these ping-pong championships and hamburger eating contests. <laughs> she's only backing you up. But secretly, really, she's really enjoying herself. Well, you go on, you go and ask her. No, oh, well, I didn't want to tell you, but you know, you forced it out of me. Oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> okay, there you go. Come on, you come and ask her then. Come on. <laughs> you come and ask her. Come on. So, you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm having a great time. You? Yeah, cosmic. I've been staying here for a fortnight. You enjoying yourself, though? Oh, uh, you know, not bad, I suppose. <coughs> I really... Oh, yeah, be with you in a minute, sweethearts. Promise to take them two girls to a nightclub. All right. Uh, I may be back late. Rodney! Rodney, it's the finals of the break dancing championship. Good. That's <laughs> watching. Watching? Not a minute. <laughs> That's so dirty, though. Oh, he my said, God. Watch it. I'm in it. <laughs> about to say, let me see you bust a movie. All right. Good. John, uh, Juan, can I have a pina colada with ice and alka seltzer? <laughs> yeah. Where have you been? Sorry, dear, I've been out all night. <laughs> you know, you said we was on the winning roll. Yeah. It wasn't a roll, my son. It was a bloody avalanche. I've got with you, Rod. Sorry. It's okay. Who? We've won. Well, what are you going on about, Rogers? We've won. What, what the break dancing contest? No, no. Well, you know those Spanish state lottery tickets. Yeah, you yes. Well, we've, we've won. won. You're winding me up. No, no look. Carmen gave us his paper to swat the flies with, right? Yeah. And Cassie did Spanish at school. She noticed the result. Look where. Oh, where bloody hell? It's a million potatoes, Derek. A million. A million. Million. You know what this means, don't you, Rodney? We're millionaires! <laughs> what have I said over the years? You've always said yes, this time next year, we'll, we'll be, be millionaires! But it's only a million potatoes. Oh, only? Me. I don't care if it's potatoes, potatoes, I don't care if you're lunch about the same! I don't care if it's potatoes, potatoes. We're rich! Hey! Oh, if I was a rich man, you no, 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 Ah, we're in Spain. Why not? Yeah, but we're foreigners. So? Well, there might be some some Spanish law saying foreigners can't pick up Spanish kitties. Then why did the mouse send you the tickets if he knew you couldn't win? Well, because he wanted to make more commission, didn't he? Oh, now, come hey. on, Dale. Come not on. even you. Huh? Oh, my God, they've got a roll. Yeah. I just know they've got a roll. Yeah. Ah, ah, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. I've just had the marvellous news. Yes. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks very much. Thank you, man. Look, just, just do us a favour. We'll just have to double check that for us, will you? Yes, certainly. Um, yep, no doubt this is the winning ticket. Uh, if you like, I'll, I'll ring the regional office of the lottery organisers and stake your claim. Oh, yeah, we were just a bit worried. We were worried like, because we were foreign, as you see. How do you mean? Well, is there a rule that says non-nationals aren't allowed to win the lottery? I don't believe so. We sell tickets here in reception to guests from all over Europe. Well, can you check the rolls for us? Yeah, look, they're on the back there somewhere. They're all written in Spanish or something. <laughs> yeah. um, it says here, non-citizens of Spain must present their passport and any necessary visa documentation with their winning ticket when making a claim. You've just won a million potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> What's the matter, Alan? I don't quite know how to break the news. Huh? I'm afraid you can't claim a penny of this money, Mr. Trotter. 
No, hold on, we got the winning ticket. Yeah. Check these numbers a hundred times. Yes, you just double checked it yourself, haven't you? Yes, the number's correct. It's the winning ticket, all right. The problem is it's got Rodney's name on it, you see. Under Spanish law, nobody under the age of 18 is allowed to gamble. <laughs> He's over 18. Yeah. I've seen his passport. It states quite clearly he was born in 1974. No, no, I can prove it. Because I've got my student card on me. It's got my date of birth on it. <laughs> yes, and it's got an official stamp on it. Yeah, look, listen, right. Rodney Trotter, Trotter, born 2nd, 2nd of, of November, November 1974. 1974. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny mummy bruv, innit? <laughs> God, look at the time. I, do you remember? I've just got to... No, come here. No, come here. Just, come here. Just, come here. <laughs> So heated, dog. So heated. I'm heated. Heated. Yes. They're supposed to have a million potatoes. A million potatoes. I don't know. I wonder how much is a million potatoes. Mm. That's all we got. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe, read notification bell, get a video, thumbs up. We out.